mystery of stuff. Families adopt dogs all the time and all around the world. And out of all age categories, young people seem to most likely fall in love with those furry animals. Yet today's story is not the typical dog adoption story that you hear all the time. Dogs are more than pets. They become central members of any family they join as they offer much more than company and friendship. Being such loyal creatures, dogs defend and protect their owners with their lives if they needed to. Today's story is about a boy who couldn't resist adopting a little puppy that turned out to be anything but a dog. It all started when an 18-year-old college student from Tucson, Arizona stumbled upon an adorable puppy abandoned on a shopping cart. Falling in love with the little furry creature, the boy took it back home and asked his parents if he could keep it. His parents discussed the idea for a while, then they decided the family needed a pet and the little puppy whom they named Neo looked like the ideal candidate. Neo was unique in every possible way and sometimes went out of hand to become a nuisance. Neo, for some reason, liked to use his owner's car as a bathroom and allowed no one to pet him or play with him except the boy that found him the first time. When the guy went to work or college, his parents couldn't control the little pup nor gain his trust as he ran around the house causing havoc. The family decided to move the little dog to the backyard where he could have all the freedom he needed and release the extraordinary extra energy he had. Yet, instead of playing with toys or running himself into exhaustion like other hyperactive dogs would do, Neo developed a new hobby. The little dog turned out to be an escape artist, the fact that made Neo a neighborhood problem. Neo dug tunnels under the fence or simply jumped over it and escaped the yard and he did so for a good reason. After a few escapes, the owners understood the reason for which he escaped. Neo didn't like to be around humans, but he would do anything to hang out with other pups, especially German Shepherds. And strangely enough, neighbor's dogs seemed so happy with the supervising visits and welcomed them. Not all neighbors were okay with a strange dog uninvitedly sneaking into their front yards. Yet some of them sympathized with the pup's needs for other dogs' company and tried to help. So they brought Neo into their houses every time they saw him escaping, then brought him back home once his owner and preferred human came back from school or work. Despite their friendliness, Neo wanted nothing to do with the neighbors themselves and even refused treats they offered him. All he wanted was the company of other dogs until his owner was back home. To ensure the safety of Neo and avoid problems with the neighbors, the family decided to renovate the fencing and spend a good sum of money on a higher and much stronger fence that they thought it would deter Neo's future escaping attempts. To everybody's surprise, Neo welcomed the challenge and it didn't take long before he broke free again. Having incredible jaw power that has always amazed his owners, Neo chewed straight through the brand new fence. With that obstacle out of the way, the pup resumed visiting other neighbors' dogs as usual. A number of neighbors ran out of patience and simply couldn't handle Neo's irritating actions any longer. And so they called the animal shelter every time the dog escaped his house or broke into their properties. The family started looking for other solutions and thought that some professional assistance would help deal with Neo's irritating habit of escaping. And so they took him to the Humane Society of Southern Arizona to see if they could get any help there and even hoped they would welcome him to spend daytime there. Yet upon first examination, the shelter's CEO, Maureen O'Neill, made a comment that shocked Neo's owner. Maureen looked at the owner and said, You know this is not a dog, right? The dog was little yet remarkably strong and his jaw was so strong compared to other dogs. His ragged thick fur had a special marking pattern and his eyes were a shade of amber. And most importantly, he often avoided contact with humans. All these signs helped Maureen recognize right away that Neo was in fact a wolf, not a dog. The neighbors weren't much surprised when they heard the news. They always knew that Neo caused too much trouble for a pet dog. Yet unfortunately for the family, the fact that Neo was a wolf meant they couldn't keep it as a pet anymore, as Arizona state law doesn't permit civilians to own wolves unless they're descendants of Native Americans or have a rarely issued special permit. Even the Humane Society and other animal shelters couldn't admit Neo in, and after being reported to local authorities, he'd be put down. Yet that wasn't an option for Neo's family, and the wolf had to be saved. The family and Maureen started researching alternative options until they found what looked like the optimum solution. They discovered a special organization located in California called Wolf Connection. 
Wolf Connection is a sort of a sanctuary for wolves and wolf hybrids, where professionals take care of these beautiful animals and put them in the optimum conditions in which they prosper and breed. The family contacted the organization and explained that the wolf hybrid's life could only be saved if they admitted him in their sanctuary, where he'd finally be properly cared for. After a while, the organization called back with the good news and informed the family that they had a place for Neo at Wolf Connection. Neo was moved to California and started a new journey in a new place with a new company. And the next step for him was to adjust to his new environment. Such process is usually a long and delicate one, yet not for Neo. The unique wolf always has his way of doing things. It didn't take Neo long to resume his old habits, as he shortly after admission into the sanctuary escaped the pen in which he was supposed to spend the initial phase and went to make friends with other wolves. Neo went straight for a wolf named Maya. For a strange wolf to approach an alpha female like that could lead to death, as wolves have a strict complex hierarchy, and it was too late for the guards to intervene and get Neo out of the dangerous situation he put himself in. To the surprise of everyone, Maya and her pack immediately accepted Neo amongst them, and he seemed to bond with all the wolves there. At last, Neo got to realize what he always wanted and sought, and that's being part of his own pack. So happy with the new situation, Neo didn't try to escape after that, and instead he adopted and got integrated into his new environment perfectly, especially in the care of all the people in Wolf Connection, who knew what to do with a stubborn and troublesome wolf hybrid like Neo. Such an amazing journey for a little shaggy rescue pup that fell in the hands of a loving family that did everything to help him before ending up in a place where he can live happily thanks to organizations such as Humane Society and Wolf Connection. Did you enjoy today's story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. If you believe this story was amazing, don't hesitate to share it with your buddies. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you'll never miss your daily dose of incredible stories.